Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging Tutorial. This is a another geometric pattern. It's nice for backgrounds or wallpapers. Um, you can obviously make it whatever color you like. If you want to follow along at home, um, the artboard is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high and it's a CMYK color profile. Two colors we're using today are the gray and that's the value and the yellow and that's that value. If you want to add those to your swatches, press pause. If you want to copy my windows as well, anything with a tick you can open up and the view you want smart guides and snap to point. So if you want to press pause there and get those added, we can crack on. Onto a new artboard. The only thing I've done here is draw a gray rectangle. So I went up to the rectangle tool and drew a rectangle across it and then I've locked it in place. So if you select it with V, you just press Command 2. That's so you can't accidentally select it. So with that in mind, we're going to get this geometric grid drawn and then it's dead easy to create this pattern. So first thing we're going to do is use the line tool. I'm just going to click, hold and drag, hold and shift. So it creates a straight line. Um, doesn't matter how long, just roughly that length. And then we're going to duplicate this seven times. So I'm going to hold option until I see my double cursor. I'm going to drag, but I'm going to hold shift and the little dialog box that pops up anywhere around 43, 44, 45, doesn't really matter. And then we're going to press command D and we want seven lines. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. So there we've got our seven lines. We're going to select it all with V and group it, uh, which is command G. Then I'm going to command C, which is copy, command shift V, which is paste in place. And then let's rotate it. So on the corner, just start to rotate again, press shift and it'll do it horizontally. Grab this vertical one and go up to here. It should say reflect or possibly rotate. Depends which is the last one you use. So hit rotate, double click, and we want 30 degrees. Click OK. We're going to do that command C, command shift V again, copy and paste in place. And we're going to hold the rotate tool and go to reflect tool. Double click it and we want vertical. So it's just going to create a mirror image. And that's our grid. Now, Select the whole grid with V, and then we're gonna to go to the Shape Builder tool. You should be able to see it, but if you, if you can see Live Paint Bucket or something, just hover over that and select the Shape Builder. Shortcuts, Shift and M. So with Shape Builder, we're gonna start with the point, and we're gonna create these shapes as we go, okay? So pick a point, don't go above the horizontal line, so pick one here, this one will do. And we're gonna click and drag those three boxes those three triangles. Then we're gonna click and drag those three, those three, and those three. So those are our four shapes to start with. Then we're gonna make the cube in the middle, which is quite easy. Just drag those two together, those two, and those two. Now if you press A and click off it, we can see our shape in the middle. We just wanna get rid of all this stuff around. So direct select A, just select everything up to there. Delete, double click, delete. These ones, delete, these ones, delete, and the bottom ones, delete. Then with V, select everything here, press Command G, so it's grouped together. And this is then when we start to make our repeat pattern. So with it selected, we're gonna do the Option Shift thing again. So Option, until you see double cursor, click, drag, hold, shift, and it should snap to that edge. Then just press Command D a couple of times. Select all these. Again, the option, um, copy. So click, drag, hold shift. And this time we're gonna drag it down till it snaps halfway. And once we've done that, we're just gonna grab it and slide it and press shift until it snaps into that bit. Once you've done those two lines, you can pretty much then just, with the option and shift, just duplicate them as many times as you want. And that is how you do this geometric pattern. Please like and subscribe. It lets me keep making these tutorials and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again next time.